Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Um, in today's video we're going to be reviewing a mini computer that um, Minis Forum has sent me so a big shout out to them. I'll be linking everything into the description below and if you're new here please consider subscribing to the channel. That would help me out a lot on making my way up to that thousand subscribers that I need to hit. And Again, a big shout out to Minis Forum for sponsoring this video and sending me this product to review for them. So let's get started on this unboxing right after this. And we are back with this unboxing here. And in today's video, I have the Minis Forum fanless mini PC and this is running on an Intel Z83F processor so I'll show you all the, some of the specs on the back of the box here hopefully without too much glare this is running on an Intel Atom X5 Z8350 processor which is capable of getting up to 1.92 gigahertz it is running on an Intel HD graphics 400 with DDR3 4 gigabit bytes of memory and it also has an eMMC 64 gigabytes of onboard memory or excuse me storage it does have a storage expansion of 128 gigabytes and that is with an SD card it does have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 4.1 and it has 802.11 AC dual band Wi-Fi it has an HDMI port and a VGA port. And it also has a 3.5 millimeter audio jack on it as well with an RJ45 gigabit ethernet port, one 3.0 USB, two 2.0 USBs, an SD card, and a DC jack for power. And it is running on 12 volt, 1.5 amp power. Right here is their support. And on their website there, you can go to that and again I'll be linking everything into the description for y'all. There we go. So I'll get this unboxed here. Oops. There we go, set that aside. We are greeted with a little note with the user op operation guide here. Minis form product model is the 83F there's some basic operation stuff in here. Pretty easy. I can pause the video if you want to see anything up close and read it thoroughly. I'll just pause for a brief moment so y'all can pause the video. So there's that. Let's set that aside. And right here we have the computer. And then we also have all the power stuff in here. Is what I'm guessing is the power cord. And yep. Close that back up here. And right here's the power cord. It's running it on a 1.5 amp 12 volt. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Just set that aside there. And right here we have the actual computer. Seems to be upside down, but that's not a big deal. Very small. I got my hand here. I'll overlap it. It is very small, so you can. It also comes with a mounting bracket here that you can mount with the Visa mounts on the back of the monitor. That you can mount this right to the back and then use the included HDMI cable to um, plug this into your into the monitor. This is probably a three foot HDMI cord, so it is not very long at all. So if you're looking to have this, like, uh, the computer away from the monitor a little bit, so you, you might want to pick up a longer HDMI cable with that. So right here is the computer. You see we have an SD card slot, two USB 2.0s, a power, and we have the DC input, one USB 3.0, an HDMI, an Ethernet jack, and a headphone jack as well. And right here is the reset, so if you ever need to do a hard reset, then you can just use a little paper clip 
and hold that down for like 10, 15 seconds and it will reset the system, or not reset, it'll restart the system. And then we also have a um, VGA input as well. This does not have any fans on it. It just has a little vents here that um, dissipate the heat. There's a little LED here that will illuminate once you plug it in and turn it on. It will turn on blue. And it does have an Intel X5 Atom Z83F processor on it as well. There's some, there's the model number there, and it is sorry made in China. Mm. And <coughs> there's that. Mm. And with that being said, I will get it hooked up to a monitor and I will show you all the specs and everything on it and then we'll go from there. So stay tuned and please remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I will be back momentarily. And here we are and we are on the computer. I just wanted to show you all some basic information and specs on the computer itself and I just pulled up the task manager just to, so, just to show you some basic specifications of the computer. So first off we're going to run through the CPU here and it looks like we're idling around 30% usage at 1.67 gigahertz. The base clock is 1.44 and it does have a boost to 1.92 I believe. Um, so you can see here a virtualization is enabled, it has a 4 core CPU on it, just one CPU, and has four logical pr processors on it as well. It is an Intel Atom X5 Z8350 CPU, and it is, has a base clock of 1.44 gigahertz. So let's run through the memory. It does have four gigabytes of DDR3 memory, and right now we are using around 2.3 gigabytes of that and this is clocked at 1600 megahertz and it only has one slot but it ha also has two slots that are available so you could um, upgrade the RAM if you felt you needed to but you will have to solder it onto the motherboard itself because I will be doing a full teardown of this computer in the next video so please stay tuned for that and um, I just want to run down through the the uh, disk here. It is using a generic SLD 64 gig um, eMMC drive here. And I do have the Ethernet plugged in. And it is running Intel HD graphics. I am running OBS, so it is utilizing the GPU. DirectX 12. It is an integrated GPU as well onto the board itself, the motherboard services and stuff, but this computer is not exactly the fastest computer ever. It is quite um, slow, so I would only be using this computer for like basic like video streaming or web browsing and stuff like that you might be able to use some uh, uh, windows from the windows store you can download some like basic uh, games and stuff like app type games um, that would be really be the only thing I'd be uh, gaming on it with this can I did take me quite a bit to get the, my OBS settings to actually run on this computer because the video processing is not good at all um, because, I mean, it's integrated HD graphics, so, I mean, there's, this computer was only, like, $135, so what do you expect from that? Um, but that is all I have for some basic information on the computer, so if you're into, like, um, web browsing or, uh, video streaming and stuff like that, this would be a great budget computer for you if you don't want to go out and spend five hundred dollars on a on a laptop or something like that or a thousand two thousand dollars on a good um desktop um but if your thing is web browsing and stuff then this would be a great computer for you 
be it is only a hundred and thirty dollars hundred thirty dollars on Amazon and I will be linking everything into the description below I'll be linking Amazon and I will be linking Minnie's forums website as well so I do want to give a shout out to Minnie's forum for sending me this product and allowing me to review it for them I will be uploading a review onto Amazon as well and if you would be so kind as to subscribe to the channel that would help me out a lot and if you all enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and again like I said I will be uploading a in the next video it will be a full teardown of the computer itself so I'll show you how to take it apart I'll show you all the different components on the inside of it and then I'll upload that video so please stay tuned for that and other than that I hope you all have a great day and I will see you next time peace out